how powerful will AI be? Of course, with this incredible future power of AI, which I think will be difficult to imagine. Within just one month of leaving his decade-long pursuit at OpenAI, Ilya Satskiver, one of the co-founders of OpenAI, has recently made a sensational announcement about the launch of his revolutionary new venture called Safe Superintelligence Inc. SSI. Now, what makes him qualified? And what exactly does SSI offer? The answers are nothing but exciting. Let's get right into it. Now, if you are someone who's been following the dedicated and determined scientist Ilya Satskiver on X, you must have already come across his most recent tweet about SSI. In case you missed it, here is what it said. Just recently, Satskiver tweeted, I am starting a new company. Attached to this was a Twitter post from SSI Inc. stressing the urgent need for safe superintelligence and with all the other transparent details it was an open invitation for people to stay tuned and be part of the company. Following up, Satskiver tweeted again, saying they plan to develop safe superintelligence in a straight shot with one focus, one goal, and one product, and mentioned achieving this through revolutionary breakthroughs produced by a small, cracked team, tagging the same long post about SSI from the company's official website. The post made clear statements about the company's mission and vision, with declarations like SSI is our mission, our name and our entire product roadmap because it is our sole focus. It also assured that everyone related to it would solely focus on supporting their only goal. The statement included the company's sole target of developing a safe and secure model for its users. Our business model means safety, security and progress are all insulated from short-term commercial pressures. If it all goes perfectly, as stated, Satskiver's new initiative could probably propel the evolution of artificial intelligence in the right direction. Now this isn't a solo venture. SSI is reportedly co-founded by investor Daniel Gross, who previously worked as a partner at the startup accelerator Y Combinator and on machine learning efforts at Apple, and former OpenAI engineer Daniel Levy, who had worked at OpenAI for the past two years. And as mentioned before, it is set to focus singularly on creating safe, superintelligent AI in these times where higher generative models like GPT-4.0 is ruling over the AI landscape. And according to SSI statements, this crucial development is to address some of the critical safety concerns that have become increasingly associated with advanced AI development. Now before we look more into SSI, it's important we get to know the main brain behind SSI, Satskiver, a bit better. Born in 1985 in the Soviet Union, Satskiver moved to Israel with his family at the age of five. He lived there until he was 15 before relocating to Canada, where he attended the University of Toronto in Ontario. It was at the University of Toronto that Satskiver met Jeffrey Hinton, often referred to as the godfather of AI. This mentorship was pivotal for Satskiver. In December 2012, Satskiver, along with Alex Krzyzewski and Jeffrey Hinton, co-founded DNN Research, a company focused on deep learning and neural networks. Their work led to the development of AlexNet, a deep convolutional neural network that revolutionized the field of computer vision. AlexNet's performance in the 2012 ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge was groundbreaking. The model achieved a top 5 error rate of 15.3%, significantly better than the previous best of 26.2%. This dramatic improvement demonstrated the power of deep learning and sparked a surge of interest and research in the field. AlexNet was particularly notable for its use of GPUs, graphics processing units, to train deep neural networks, a technique that allowed it to handle large datasets and complex computations.
computations more efficiently than traditional CPUs, central processing units. This innovation enabled the network to achieve its remarkable performance, handling tasks such as image classification with unprecedented accuracy. Following the success of AlexNet and the acquisition of DNN Research by Google in early 2013, Sutskiver continued to make significant contributions to the field of AI. He joined OpenAI in 2015 as a co-founder and chief scientist, where he played a key role in developing some of the most advanced AI models to date, including the GPT series. Unfortunately, Sutskiver's departure from OpenAI came after a decade of pioneering work, which was marked by a significant internal conflict concerning the direction of the company's AI safety protocols. Reports suggest that Sutskiver had growing concerns about the rapid commercialization under Sam Altman, which he believed could compromise AI safety. He was also among the few who voted to remove Altman from his post as OpenAI CEO a few months back. But things did not go as planned. Due to heavy public support, Altman sprung back into his role just in the blink of an eye. This essentially led to his decision to leave the company recently in May of this year and form SSI. SSI is reported to have its headquarters in Palo Alto in California and Tel Aviv in Israel strategically positioning itself to tap into the rich talent pools of Silicon Valley and Israel. This dual location setup also signals a commitment to fostering global collaboration in AI research and development. Simply said, they aim to achieve this goal by focusing solely on the development of AGI without the distractions of traditional product cycles or commercial pressures. The singular focus on safety and ethical AI development sets SSI apart from many other AI initiatives. The founders of SSI have mentioned a clear vision where safety is not an afterthought but a primary objective. While ChatGPT and Microsoft focus heavily on creating profitable AI solutions, they capture and retain market share. SSI is committed to a balanced approach. They seek to advance AI technology responsibly. This balance aims to prevent potential misuse or unintended consequences of superintelligent AI systems. ChatGPT is currently being painted as a villain whose sole aim is to grow by any means and achieve profitability. This is clear from the criticisms of some recently departed OpenAI employees who accuse the company of focusing on commercial growth at the expense of long-term safety. One of those former employees, Jan Leiker, recently sounded the alarm about OpenAI's decision to disband its super alignment team, which was focused on training AI systems to align with human needs and priorities. So with all that said, the concept of safe superintelligence is needed now more than ever. The timeline for when SSI's advancements will be available to the public is still uncertain, given the complexity and ambitious nature of their goals. It is likely that significant progress will take time. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more interesting content. Until next time.